This week, I've got updates within updates within updates. So let's get rolling. I started recording this video outside today, but we're having a high wind advisory today. And when I listen back to my test recordings, you could barely hear my voice. So we're back inside. However, once I get back inside and all set up, the wind dies down. I think it's definitely out to taunt me today. You ever have one of those weeks where you bit off more than you can chew? Well, this is one of them for me. Ever since the course on the parables ended, I jumped back into the YouTube channel with a little bit too much gusto. And I've put out five videos in the last two weeks and it's really killed me. So today what I would like to do is have a much shorter, simpler video that updates you on the channel and talks about two points. Time out. It's time for an update to this update video. I was talking about how life throws curveballs at you, like the wind disrupting my plans to film the video outside. Well, I got thrown a really big curveball. The day after I finished filming the original part of this video, I ended up in the hospital. Now to cut a long story short, I ended up in the emergency room and needing emergency surgery for peri, peritonit, peritonitis. I've never heard of it before. I'll put the word down here. You can look it up yourself. And then that bought me three days in the hospital. I do have four belly buttons now though. Please excuse my use of notes here, but I'm not all here yet. But what does this mean for my channel? The first thing is I'm going to announce who wins this net full notes Bible next week. This is a gorgeous Bible. I really love it. And I guess my body just didn't subconsciously want to let go of this thing yet. So this gives you another week to enter a chance to win this if you haven't done so already. What else does this mean? Well, it explains why I didn't have a video up last weekend on a biblical text and why I'm not going to have one up this week. Hopefully I'll be on my feet next week and I'll be able to start producing videos again. The second thing it means is that all the other updates and plans I have for the channel that are listed in the original part of this video are good. They're just pushed back a week or two. Having said all that, we're going to return back to our regularly scheduled video at this time. I've always wanted to say that line. You're watching the Caffeinated Bible. My name is David Paris, and the goal of this channel is to help you read your Bible in a much more informed and engaged manner. So if you like this material, be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and let your friends know about it. First, in case you haven't been watching my other video on the Net Full Notes Bible, let me quickly summarize that. This is an awesome Bible that's loaded with perhaps more resources for doing word studies and background studies than any other Bible that I know of. And I'm giving away this copy on my channel. You can click on the link up here in the top left corner, and I'll also include a direct link to that video in the description underneath this video. I cannot recommend this Bible highly enough, and I really want to thank the publishers at Thomas Nelson who have graciously given me this copy to give away to someone. And so you can go to that video, watch it, and there's instructions about how you can actually have a chance to get this for free. Hey, bartender. Hit me again. Haven't you had enough already? Oh, come on. Just one more. Okay, one more then. But this is your limit. No problem. Thanks. It's pretty cool that this YouTube channel has grown to over 400 subscribers in the past year. I know this is small compared to some channels on YouTube. I really hope to continue to produce videos on biblical topics in the future, and I really hope to see them getting better and better as they go along. Hopefully I'm going to pick up a new lens in the near future, maybe upgrade the microphone system so I can interview people, and maybe upgrade the lighting system a little bit. This coming week, I plan to start a series on the best Bible stories. 
This is gonna be a long-term project that'll probably take over a year, but I'm gonna break it up into sort of bite-sized chunks. So the first chapter in this series is gonna be the top 10 stories from Genesis. Of course, I get to pick the stories and my top 10 may not be the same as yours. But right now I plan to cover creation in Genesis 1, the Garden of Eden in chapters 2 and 3, the fall in chapter 3, Cain and Abel, Noah and the flood, Abraham's call, Abraham and Isaac, Jacob and Esau, Joseph's dream and Egypt, and the story of women in Genesis. I plan on dropping out of the series every now and then to cover specific texts that are related to the liturgical year, such as Jesus' ascension or the transfiguration on the Sundays that we observe those events. If you have any ideas or suggestions about your top stories, leave them in a comment down below this video. I do read the comments, and I'm not going to promise that I will cover them, but I will give it some consideration. Until next week when we drop into this series, peace. And don't forget to take a look at my review of the Net Full Notes Bible and enter for a chance to win that Bible.